Hello, I am Emily Leggett, the teen librarian at the Tewksbury Public Library, and today I'm going to teach you how to make soap. Before we get into that, if you are interested in programs like this and other things we may be offering, please check out TewksburyPL.org for other events for grades 6 through 12. Right now, if you did sign up for this program, you have a brown bag in front of you that has everything that's required to make soap. However, there are some optional things I'm going to talk about while we're making it that you can add in. So the biggest thing that's going to be in your bag is hard glycerin. We got white glycerin. Looks like this. These, each one of these will make a little bar of soap like this. You might be able to get two and a half out. Um, you can do this with any type of hard glycerin. There's like honey scented and there's clear ones that you can add color to to make different colors and designs in them. And then you will have a silicone mold. So the one I had used so I had used a little Christmas tree ornament mold. So you will have one of the other ones, like this bulb or a snowflake, something like that, in yours that you can use as the mold for your soap. You can use any mold. Uh, we've chosen to use silicone molds because they're easier to pop out and not have to worry about breaking the mold. So optional things. Now this is just depending on what you want your soap to smell like, what you want it to look like. So I used some uh, essential oil lavender for the scent for my soap, and I added some glitter into mine. Now remember, it's still soap, so at some point when I wash my hands with this lovely soap, that glitter is going to come out on my hands. So that is up to you what you want to put into it and what you want to do with it. Okay, so to start this off, is so what we're going to do is take the glycerin and a microwave safe bowl and you are going to go microwave it for 30 second increments until it is fully melted. For This is dependent on your microwave. For our microwave, it took me, I believe, 45 seconds to melt the whole thing. So let's do that, and then we'll come back and check in. Welcome back. All right, so, after your soap has settled in for half an hour, if it still needs more, you'll be able to tell as we press on the back. Like mine just feels warm to touch, but it's solid. If it gives it all, give it some more time. And so on the other side, it'll just look like solid white for these colors. And then my stocking also solid through. So this is why we chose silicone molds. Because all you have to do is start to push and pull back from the mold and it'll start to come out. If it is not, if it's breaking or not coming out in the shape it's supposed to, leave it. If you, this is again another part of the silicone mold, you can put it right back so it is how it's supposed to be and leave it for some while longer. If you need to, you can always add more of the soap in to fill in any gaps. So easy peasy. Pull the whole thing out. Your mold is nice and clean. You may want to clean out extra just to make sure. And here you have your soap. And if you run underwater, you'll see you get good bubbles. This one is one with the scent. It smells very lavender y. So you can add other things. Just make sure whatever you add to it is safe for your hands or whoever's hands you're giving it to. And then with this one, we'll also pop this one out. This one, depending on the mold you have, depends on how you want to take the soap out. So usually, either from the top or the bottom, stretching the sides and just pushing up, we'll take it out. Now sometimes, this is a good example, things like this little spot will happen. It's kind of hard to see, but, so you can just fold it against the soap so it can be used or you can just peel it off. And so, we have some nice holiday soap that you can put a ribbon through, you can add some sparkles to, you can add scents to, whatever you would like. Uh, do wait until they are cold to touch instead of warm to use them. It won't make a difference in how they're used, it's just will be more comfortable for you that they're not hot soap. And that is how you make soap. It is very easy. Um, hard glycerin is available at pretty much any craft store or on Amazon, but check before you go to get it. You can also use, so 
there's another type of glycerin that's liquid glycerin. You can use it, but it requires other things put in to make it because it won't harden like the hard glycerin. Thank you very much for joining us today. If you have any questions about this or any suggestions for other program ideas, feel free to email me at eleggett at tooksburypl.org. Check our calendar for upcoming events. There's a lot of great things going on. Thank you for joining us and I hope you have a great day. Bye.